All right, I'm determined to get through the remainder of this test. There's only 24 problems in a sample test. We're at number 19, so let's roll through them. 19 and 20 are both calculus problems. If you're not familiar with calculus, it may or may not suit your interest to watch this particular video. Number 19. If f prime of x equals 6x squared plus 6x minus 4, and f of 1 equals 6, and f of negative 1 equals what? If you notice, we're given the first derivative, the equation for the first derivative, and we're given one function value for the actual function. We're asked to find another function value. So, to get from the first derivative back down to the actual function, we do need to integrate. Since the expression 6x squared plus 6x minus 4 represents the first derivative, we're going to have to integrate that with respect to x. This is a polynomial function, so we can apply the power rule for integration. The power rule for integration does say uh, raise the power of x by 1 and then divide the term by that same number. <coughs> Uh, so, the integration of 6x squared is 6x to the third over 3. That does simplify as 2x to the third. Integrate 6x, and you will get 6x squared over 2. And that simplifies down to positive 3x squared. And finally, we'll integrate the last term, negative 4, and that just gives us negative 4x. We have to remember that with indefinite integration, we have to remember to put a uh, plus an arbitrary constant c. And actually, we can solve for that constant c given these two values. So, from the integration, we know that the definition for the function f of x is 2x to the third plus 3x squared minus 4x plus c. From here, we can start to substitute. We have the value of x given as 1, and the value f of x, the function value, given as 6. So we'll plug that into this expression to solve for the very constant c. <coughs> we get 6 equals 2 times, and the beauty of x being 1, we have 1 raised to the third power, which is really just 1. So this, this really, this term really evaluates just simply 2 plus, and then we have, we have 3 times 1 squared, so that's just 3. We have minus 4 times 1, so it's just minus 4 plus c. Moving up here now, and switching colors again. We just need to solve this equation. Let's combine all these terms together. So 2 plus 3 is 5, minus 4 is 1. We have 6 equals 1 plus c. So if we subtract 1 from both sides, we find the value of c is 5. And this means that our definition, f of x, the same exact definition we have here, we found the value of c, and so our definition for that function is 2x to the third plus 3x squared minus 4x plus 5. We want to evaluate f of negative 1, and again, we have some pretty simple substitution here. Uh, we're going to plug a negative 1 into all of this. So 2 times a negative 1 to the third power is a negative 1. And plus 3 times negative 1 squared, on the other hand, is a positive 1. Minus 4 times negative 1. So 4, and it is multiplied by negative 1, plus 5. If we evaluate all of this, that gives us f of negative 1. And all of this, uh, let me write that where I have some room. 
half of negative 1 equals all of this evaluates to positive 10. C. Uh, number 20, again, as I mentioned, is going to involve a little bit of calculus. Find the y-intercept of the line tangent to the curve y equals x squared minus 1 at the point 2, 3. The reason we need calculus is the, whenever we see the line tangent to a curve, that deals with the first derivative. When we take the first derivative of this function, we actually get the slope of the tangent line. Uh, if we find the slope of the tangent line and we have this information, then we can find the y-intercept. So let's start by taking the first derivative of y. So y prime using the power rule equals 2x. This means the slope of the tangent line at the point, or if we're given the x value 2, we plug it in here. So 2 times 2. So the slope of the line tangent to this curve at x equals 2 is going to be 4. That's just the slope of the tangent line. Okay, we want the y-intercept of this tangent line. We know the slope of the tangent line, and we also know a point that's on the line. So we have, if we're looking at y equals mx plus b, our ultimate goal is to find the value b, of course. That's the y-intercept. We can plug into this form now um, the solution. We know one solution to this is 2, 3. So we can plug in place of x, y, x equals 2, y equals 3. Uh, instead of y, we can say 3 equals m. We know the slope is 4. Uh, the corresponding x-coordinate that matches up with this is 2. So we plug a 2 in for x. Uh, and we say plus b. b is the unknown value. That's what we're trying to solve for. 3 equals 8 plus b. Simple algebra. 3 minus 8 leaves you with uh, the value b is negative 5, which means as a coordinate point, the y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 5. Answer choice A.